Well, this Mesa officer who beat a man unconscious and has uh, several use of force complaints against him was one of the few cops uh, celebrated on a challenge coin. Uh, this just goes to show how the most violent of cops are the ones protected and celebrated. With an update tonight from the ABC 15 Invest. Investigators, a violent arrest, Mesa police knocking a man unconscious at a quinceanera. The officers repeatedly punched and kneed him in the head, then wrote false reports about what happened. ABC 15, Chief... In yeah, and this is typical for cops to do when they commit extreme violence against people. They will falsify the report, so it makes them look like... I Investigator Dave Biscabing broke the story, but you know, Dave's never done after just one report. He's been digging to find out more, and he's found one of those officers has a history of complaints and has his name on a special coin that celebrates police violence. Now, a few things up front here. One, this case is now a lawsuit. Two, Mesa police officials don't think their officers did anything wrong. And three, the right, because yeah, no police department truly believes that their officers do anything wrong when they violate the law. The officer who pushed that man, he has a current internal investigation for another issue. He has passed use of force cases, and his name is on the challenge coin you're about to see. In October 2022, Daniel Barraza was left bloody, beaten, and unconscious. I think he's, he's unconscious. So. Here's how it began. What's up, man? What's going on? I don't know. Apparently there's a fight or something. Want to have a seat? We'll talk about it. No, I don't want to. I don't need a fight. I don't need a seat. What do you need? Hey, okay. okay. explain what happened with the quinceanera. Ma'am, yeah. We got told. We got told. Just don't pass, man. Okay. Don't fight. Okay. 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 These cops need to be in prison, but probably not. The officer with the push is Rudy Monares. Records show he's been with Mesa PD for seven years, and so far he's been internally investigated seven times. This is what's called a concise employee history. It's two pages showing basics about misconduct complaints. Let's start with the most recent. This one is blacked out because it's a current internal investigation. We don't know yet what it's for. Before that, in 2023, he got verbal counseling for use of force. In 2020, more verbal counseling for conduct unbecoming. And in 2018, he got a written reprimand from a case that was a pretty big scandal. Surveillance video showed several officers knocking a man unconscious at an apartment complex. That case settled for 350000 That victim's attorney... Wow, these cops are truly disgusting. They love to gang up on people and beat them because they're cowards who love the protection of law to allow them to uh, commit violence against people and get away with it. What, verbal warnings? What, he was just told not to do it again, even though he is known to do it all the time? Kearney also discovered there was a challenge coin. The front said, doing it right, despite the hype. The back had the phrase Inglorious Bastards and the name. Wow. Sounds like uh, they are making a gang force for themselves. Of several officers involved in that 2018 case, and that includes Officer Monarez. New developments in an ABC 15 investigation. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius reported on that coin back in 2021 as part of a larger story. What's unclear at this point is exactly who came up with the idea for the challenge coin and distributed it, and how many Mesa officers, if any, were carrying it around. <laughs> Now back to the quinceanera. No officers were disciplined. Mesa PD found all of their use of force was in policy. Records. Right, because this is how cops are. They will always protect each other because they're just one big gang. They think they have their right to punches and it's and what and following policy. So their policy is that these cops are allowed to beat people unconscious for no reason whatsoever. Show the officers were there because police got an unknown trouble call. In the parking lot, a man told them he was punched by Daniel. But what the officers didn't know before approaching him was that that other man was uninvited and accused.